This is lesson 72 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. Today's lesson, selecting from many options with switch statements. If you have many options to choose from, use a switch statement. A switch statement tests a value and can have many case statements, which defines various possible values. Statements are executed from the first matched case value until a break is encountered. Here's a pseudocode example. So this is our switch statement which takes a parameter num. So then it does this. It checks the first case that we give it. So if num matches with this, it will run the statement. You know, and that's our code, whatever we want it to do. Um, if that doesn't, if it does work, then there's this break, and this makes the code stop running. If this isn't here, it'll actually go to the next case and continue until it runs into a break. So, if this isn't true, then this doesn't execute, then case. 2 would run and the same process would carry on. Uh, it says case values are tested with strict equality, triple equal sign. The break tells JavaScript to stop executing statements. If the break is omitted, the next statement will be executed. Instructions write a switch statement which tests val and sets answer for the following conditions. So if they put 1, we return alpha, they put 2, we return beta, 3, gamma, 4, delta. Here's some helpful links. So switch statements. That's if you want to learn more about them. Um, you could click that link. So it says here, case and switch 1 should have a value of alpha. Case and switch 2, beta, 3, gamma, 4, delta. You should have at least 3 break statements. Okay. So only change code below this line. So in between 5, 6, and 7, we're going to create a switch statement. And it should take to tell us switch statement which tests val. So it's going to test val and sets answer for the following conditions. So this is our switch statement. And we gotta give it different cases. We're gonna start with case one. We would do answer is assigned alpha. Then we want to make sure to put our break if that is true because we want it to stop there. But if they don't put in a 1, the next thing we want to do is case 2. We want this. If they put in a 2 into val, we want it to make answer beta. And do our break. And then we want to do case three and do answer and assign it string gamma. And then do our break and then put in case four. If they do put in a 4, then we want it to do answer equals delta and do our break. So this actually, if we look at this whole thing now, okay, so we have our case in switch function. 
which is up here. When we call this function, it takes in this parameter of val. Here, the argument is 1, so it's put into val. So it's going to first inside create a, a variable called answer that's just a blank string. And during the switch statement, we're going to update that empty string. And according to what number is passed in, we're going to print, we're going to uh, update answer to be a certain string value. So we have alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So this should actually return alpha because we're throwing in a 1. If we're to throw in a 3 in here, it should return gamma. And that should be it for this lesson. Let's just print this out and see. And we see we get a gamma. And just depending on what value is passed in. So this is similar again to if, else if, but it's using a switch statement.